Hello and welcome to Wellness with the Gardeners. It's Lulu. How are you guys doing? Listen, I just want to uh, do a quick video. Um, uh, I just have to share this because I had this dream and uh, the dream that I had, I just knew that it wasn't just for me to see. Uh, this dream that I saw, it has to do with our president, Donald J. Trump. And what I saw was him bent over on his knees, humbling himself and praying to our God, Father God, Jesus Christ, our Lord. He was praying for the United States of America. And when I saw this, I wanted to show others. I say, look, I wanted to show them what I saw. And uh, because it seemed as if I was at the White House and I, as I was walking, I happened to see through this door and I, I, it was like a glass door. I was able to see him on his knees, humbling himself and praying for the United States of America. And I said, wow, what I understand is that Although I am not a person of politics, but what I am is a woman of prayer. And God showed me this. And I said, Lord, why are you showing me this? And what I came to understand is others must be doing the same. So as I saw him praying, I wanted to show others what I saw. So I, I ran back and I went to get a, uh, uh, someone to come and see. And it was like, they really did not care to see. They did not want to see. Uh, they did not want to have to do anything. They didn't want anything to do with him pretty much because they are so disgusted with him. They, it's like, there's a hate in their heart. And because the hate that they have in their heart, they can't see anything good pertaining to, uh, this man. But as I was still bringing them so they can come see, I woke up from the dream. And what I understood as I saw him humbled over and praying, me being a woman of prayer, I understood that we ought to be doing the same. As believers, we are not to be swayed by what we see. We are not to be like uh, everyone that's... Uh, uh, just looking with their um, natural eyes, but us as believers, we ought to be praying like uh, the word of God instructs us to, to pray. And that is to pray for the nations. And if you're in the United States of America, you're supposed to be praying for this country, the United States of America. And I truly believe that this is the time that we are to humble ourselves and pray like never before. And I believe also in this time, the Christians that have been uh, so uh, bothered and, and hurt and uh and just have a hate for this man. God is calling you to repentance because he loves the world. He doesn't just love the Christians. He loves the world. So what that means, you as a person who uh, calls yourself a Christian or you call yourself to be a follower of Jesus Christ, you are not to be like the world where you are speaking ill and you want the worst for this man and his family. This is where you ought to be different. This is where you ought to be praying. And this is where you should not allow any corrupt talk come out of your mouth. This is the season that your words should be seasoned with salt. So I pray that you will humble yourself and pray that God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven, not your will. I think a lot of people have been praying that their will be done, but this is the time beloved, that we all need to bow down, humble ourselves before God, before Jesus Christ, our Lord. And we say, Father, your will be done on earth. Let your kingdom come on earth and do what you need to do. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And as we begin to speak what the Lord wants to happen, as we begin to pray the will of the Father, and that is when we will experience what 
what God would have us to experience. God wants there to be unity. God wants a revival to take place. God is doing great things in our lives. But at the same time, there are some double-minded individuals and they are standing uh, uh, um, not uh, they're not standing in the things of God. They're not standing and uh, praying and they're not standing in the gap and praying that God's will be done. So this dream was so prophetic. And I just believe that in this season, we need to humble ourselves and pray. That is the instruction. Listen, I love you. God bless you. And I pray, beloved, that in this season that you will pray like your life depends on it. It is in the name of Jesus that I pray for those that does not know this God that I'm talking about, Jesus Christ. If you need him as your savior, call on him. He will answer. God bless you. Bye-bye.